Hi everybody, welcome to our latest edition of Over Coffee. Thanks for joining us. We've spent a lot of time in 2017 working with our clients around the idea of the strategic power that exists in story. But what does that really mean? See, when you're using story as a strategy, what you're really doing is building a personal connection between yourself and your brand, yourself and your product, yourself and your service. Now, good brands have built story forever, so the fact that they connect with us at an emotional level is what drives the power of that story. So it doesn't really matter whether you're a Nike swoosh person or maybe you're an Adidas three-stripe person. Either way, you're connected somehow to the brand of the product you buy, and that connection is a result of the power that story brings to what you do. You see, story affects us at both a conscious and a subconscious level. So let me give you an example. Um, you're going to the movies and you ask for a large popcorn. You don't ask for a Jiffy Pop popcorn. You don't ask for an Orville Reckenbacher popcorn, um, specially salted. You instead ask for a large popcorn. But when it comes time to order your drink, it shifts. You order your drink by its brand. You'll ask for a Coke. You'll ask for a Diet Coke. You'll ask for a Dr. Pepper. Not a Mr. Pibb, for God's sake, but a real Dr. Pepper. And that means that there's a connection between the drink and the brand and not the popcorn and the brand. And it's probably because somewhere along the line, the drink has told a better branding story and you've connected to it. You've connected to it at an emotional level because great story connects people emotionally to the product and service. So there are steps to this process of what you're doing that creates this connection. The first, well, the first is crafting your story. You have to be able to craft it. That's the writing and the creation of the story. But the crafting of the story then has to connect to the telling of the story. So the crafting and telling join together. Each piece is of critical importance and you can't have one without the other. Because what happens is a well-crafted story leads to a well-told story. And then a well-told story leads to the next connective piece. That piece is the direct connection to the client. Crafting, telling, connection to the client. And if you do these three pieces, they connect to a strategy. The last piece, the strategy. And as each one is connected, you have the core essence of story as a strategy. You spend time crafting it, not building it, not writing it, but crafting it so that each piece fits. You then learn to tell the story so that there's an emotional connection. It doesn't matter how long the story is, it can be, it can be short. It can be a three minute story. It doesn't matter as long as there's an emotional connection to what's been crafted. Lastly, that crafting of the emotional piece and telling has to connect to the client. And when these three pieces happen, and these three pieces of story transmit all the way through the planning process, you get this, a strategy. And there is no more powerful strategy that exists in any business than the ability to connect what you do to story. You should spend time on it. It should be significant to you. Because at the end of the day, whoever tells the best story wins. Thanks for listening. We'll see you next time on Over Coffee.